so is this the other side, or what is this? You know, I really kind of wish I had my torch now. Ah, I see. There's the heart of despair. Ouch. Yay, the fireball stopped. Well, not from there over there. Alright. Then let's cut over to the other side. This music is jamming. Thank you, serpent. Yeah, the random, like, raven's caw thing, kind of cool. Alright, heart of despair. Let's put you in your place and hopefully you don't die. Ah, oh, thank you. Get back here. Don't run away. Not when I'm in the middle of beating you to death. Ouch! Or he killed me. Alright, well, now that we know what to do, we can do this a lot faster. I'm surprised I'm dying so much, I'm just, like, not paying attention to things like health. And also, those fireballs, man. Destroying me. Also, I really should be using the Dragon Skin Bracer's armor. It really helps a lot. Ooh. Heart is on this side. Piss off. All right. It's the only problem with those guys is that as the cleric, the fighting with them is a little tedious. The mage, it's even worse because you can't use your regular weapon if they're if they have their shield up. It'll just come right back at you. Don't slash at me. Just die. Law tours or whatever they call them. All right. That was like the worst time to run. Ha! All right. Brush your teeth. Nasty green fireball stuff. I still haven't gotten the third weapon. Although the second chapter to this, the expansion, you get pretty much all the weapons in like the first level. 
because pretty much that game's like the master levels of Doom 2 and like Final Doom. And that last level of Heretic are pretty much designed just to kill you. Like, another point, just death. This at least they made the gameplay like interesting and whatever, but yeah. It's just brutal. I mean, the number of enemies on screen is ridiculous. I also have to say with uh, my Let's Plays, I'm not a fan of, like, fast forwarding unless I, like, if I had to go back earlier when I died at the Wendigos, I totally would have just started recording again where I was. But... Luckily, there's a continue feature, but I don't know. I watch a lot of other people do it, and sometimes it's helpful because it can get kind of tedious. But it's also interesting because sometimes you, you know, do it a little quicker or find something new. And I'd hate, like, I'd hate to be find something new and then not be able to show you. Okay, seriously, enough of the Ettons. They don't even do any damage to me because I can hit them before they even get close to me. I forget the name of this Serpent Rider. There's, again, in the manual, there's, like, all this, like, extra, like, background story. Like, after the death of Despairal, the next Serpent Rider, who is stronger than Despairal, but not quite as strong as the even stronger Serpent Riders, decided to come into some dimension and people fought back. That's my story. Smash your windows. Use the freaking thing. Thank you. Jeez. Dying. I'll just stand here and take it. Ouch. No, you'll not kill me again, serpent. I have your number. Alright. Good. Now we get to jump into stalker infested water. Oh, that's convenient. See? See? There's a stalker. There's there's tons of them. Come on, any more? I heard you. Where are you? I can hear one swimming around, but I have no idea where it is. So, back up to the beginning? I am confused. Whoosh. Alright. Uh. Let's go up here. Behind the waterfall. Ah, stalker! Jesus, scared the shit out of me. I knew I heard other ones. Later, they throw like the green fireballs that the brown serpents shoot. Oh, that's such a tease, bastards! Alright. Alright, Bright Crucible, reveal your secrets to me. Oh, maybe a door open at the top? I see there's like a little... I'll smack you. <clears throat> maybe I'll uh, play the second... Uh, or the expansion to this, I'll play it as the warrior or the mage. The mage, frankly, does not have good weapons at all. Like, 
the third weapon is pretty decent, but the the second weapon is just uh eh. The first weapon is probably like the only good thing he has going for him. But and his last weapon is just a little obscene in terms of how much mana it takes for like a single shot. It's just totally not worth it. Alright, Mr. Bright Crucible, are we done with you? I see you, stalkers. Anything hidden back here? No, we're good. Alright. How's that for progress? So I guess that's the secret level. I'd assume. I didn't really get anything that great in it, so I don't see why it would be... I mean, other than the fact that I got the icon of the defender. But... Oh! Well, Hody do So I guess that was the secret level. Um... In all the hexens, there's like little hidden levels. Um, the secret levels, which usually give you really good items, but that's usually just about it. Um, sometimes they open uh, a pathway to get like an item ahead of time, like a, a weapon piece, because I think you get a one weapon piece per level. But for right now, I'm going to leave it right here. And in the next episode, we'll come back and we'll finish out the hub. Well, this has been Let's Play Hexen with me, Morak Dice. See you later.